I have many videos on RSI indicator on this channel because really the indicator does work in mere reversion strategies, especially on the indexes. The problem is we have a small number of trades using this indicator. And as algo traders, we need more trades to have more statistical significance. And as money makers, we need more trades to generate more profits. So in this video, we will focus on how to increase the number of trades without affecting the profitability of the strategy. So when we are using one indicator, in this case, this is the RSI, we have only two ways to generate more trades. Either by shortening the length of the look back of the indicator, we are using RSI 2, that means it's two bar. That's it, we cannot go lower. It's the minimum number of bars we can use in this indicator. The next option we have is to lower the time frame. So instead of using a daily bar with one bar, we can use two hours bar, then we will have 12 bars in a 24 hour session. So first of all, let me show you the strategy. This is the RSI 2 on the S&P 500 daily sessions. And you can see this is the RSI. When it goes below 25, we go long. This is below, so it goes below 25 here. Next bar we go long. And when the uh, RSI 2 goes above 75, then we exit. So uh, above 75 here, we exit next bar. Same thing. We go long and we exit and so on and so forth. So these are the trades from January 2008 till January 2022. And we can see we have 187 trades with an average of $481 dollar per trade there is no commission no slippage in this strategy we're making 90,000 of course the strategy is good I've done million videos <laughs> on it on this channel it's really one of the best performing uh, strategies on the index so now I switch the time frame to two hours so as you can see these line breaks is every new session and now we have 12 bars per session. Of course, we have more signals. So now for the same data period since 2008, we have 3,171 trades. That is definitely a lot of trades. The problem is the average trade is down to 52. Of course, since we have 3,000 plus trades, we can easily add any filter to enhance the average trade. And if you are an algo trader or a YouTube uh, viewer, then most likely you've heard of ADX and RSI. So let's try that theory. Let's test if ADX does enhance the strategy. And here is the test for the ADX optimization. So I used ADX of 10 bars and these are the levels. So ADX greater than 14, 16, all the way to 30. And we can see the ADX actually does enhance the average trade. So this is ADX 10 greater than 14, the average trade is around 50 something, but ADX 10 greater than 30, the average trade is more than $100. So here are the results now that the filter is applied. So when the ADX 10 bars greater than 30, then we can take the trade and that increases our average trade to $113. And still we are doing 1600 trades. So the ADX as a filter works great on this strategy intraday. Now there are other ways to use the ADX other than just greater than a level. So here are the results for optimizing if the ADX is greater than the ADX bars ago. So this is if the ADX 10 greater than the ADX one bar ago, all the way to 10 bars ago. And again, we can see that the average trade here is below 40, but then when we compare it with 10 bars ago, the average trade is around 70 something. So we can see some enhancement if we go with the ADX greater than 8 or 9 or 10 bars ago. And here is the strategy applied now. The average trade is 76.88 and we have more trades. We have 1,859 trades. There is another way to use the directional plus and directional minus as a filter for the RSI strategy. So let's try that. And here are the results of the optimization of the DMI plus greater than the DMI minus bar ago. 
So this is, for example, when the DMI plus greater than the DMI minus one bar ago, all the way to 10 bars. And we can see that the best one is the first one where the uh, average trade is above 50 and then it degrades. So this filter does not work as expected. So out of the three ADX versions, the first one, it looks like the best one. And then which is the ADX greater than a level. And then comparing the ADX to itself, then we can get still a good strategy. But then comparing the DMI plus two and minus, they are not, they don't work as well. Of course, there are other ways to test the ADX with RSI. For example, if the ADX is sloping up or sloping down, or if the DMI plus greater than the DMI minus by a certain standard deviation number. There are many, many ways and variations you can test. And, you know, it's really actually, first of all, it's hard to come up with all these ideas and then to test them. So we need a better way to add the filter or to test other filters with the RSI strategy. And here we need the big guns. And that big gun is a data mining package. In this case, we are using strategy quant X. So let's jump into that platform. So here I take the same strategy that is RSI below 25, above 25 on the ES uh, H2, that means two hours. Here I have the data starts in 2009 because that's the earliest I can go and one contract. And because strategy Quantex is a data mining package, I can take the strategy, bring it into the builder and then add all the ADX blocks in it. So these are the blocks. ADX changes direction upwards or downwards greater than a level or below a level falling or rising also i can use the adx indicator on itself because then i can add the main ndx and the plus di and the minus di so all those now will work for me with millions of variations to come up with strategies and i can show you the strategies that come up so for example let's look at the source code here so this is the rsi of course our strategy lower than 25 we go long greater than 75 we exit and now this is randomly picked by strategy quant x of course within the parameters that i decided which is what which is the average trade has to be greater than 100 dollars and i need minimum of 500 trades so for example the adx changes direction upwards so what does that mean that means the adx was going down and on this bar, it reverses up. This is actually very simple. It's a one bar pattern, but it's hard to come up with when you are in TradeStation or other trading platforms, because then, of course, you need to program all these ideas one by one. It's not like in SQX where you can just give it all the indicators you want to add, and then it will pick the best based on your criteria. And here, for example, we have the ADX minus di greater than 24 and the minus di is falling for four bars this one is the minus di falling for three bars and minus di is higher than 23 for two bars so you can see that uh, sqx can come up with ideas that you will never think of now since we have the sqx in our hands we might as well test other things why only stick to adx so I added a Kaufman efficiency ratio alone and I added a Kaufman adaptive moving average alone. And then, then I just tried 100 random blocks out of the SQX building blocks to see what strategies we can come up with. And here we have a combination where Kaufman moving average is greater than Hell moving average and the ADX is lower than 50. And then we have some interesting ideas. For example, this one the lowest price weighted is lower than the low of the week for two bars and then this one using macd where macd is lower than minus five and this one using volume so average volume is falling for two bars and the weekly low is greater than the bollinger bands of course i <laughs> deleted ten thousand strategies i just kept some interesting strategies but you can see the power of data mining with a targeted strategy. So, of course, SQX can come up with a million variations of any strategy. But in this way, instead of using our RSI strategy and come up with 100 ideas and test them 
and to find out if they work or not and then optimize because you know let's say you bring adx filter in you have to optimize what period what shift do you do so it's it's like endless uh, so it's like endless waste of your time and of course your time is important so when you bring the strategy to sqx you know what strategy is you build it this is the rsi2 strategy now i just want one filter and also i decided the number of trades and the minimum average trade even then i get 10,000 strategies of course these are not usable strategies yet because you still have to do the robustness testing and that is the pillar of successful trading because without robust strategies you cannot trade because all these might be luck most of them are junk you definitely need to do robustness testing and of course that's what uh, my course is about shameless plug <laughs> but really it's a good course to vet strategies if they are robust or not also another idea that comes out of this is now that you have hundreds and hundreds of strategies you do your robustness testing and then you come up let's say with 10 but now you can build a portfolio of these 10 strategies so this is what i did i built i took 10 strategies that are roughly uncorrelated and i built a portfolio using those strategies and you can see that we do have correlations and some of them are really high but out of 10 strategies i would say this is really good portfolio this is the same rsi2 strategy with different filters and of course because they have different filters they will trade on different days and they will have a different profit and loss profile and remember all these strategies they uh, they have to have more than 500 trades each and this is the trade analysis and we can see that we have a high winning percentage in all months all weekdays uh, september only it's a loss and probably one september we lost a lot of money and look at this overall <laughs> we make money every year every single year we are making money since 2009 using this strategy uh, using not the strategy using this portfolio because now we are trading 10 strategies at the same time of course because we have correlation so you can consider some of these trades are like you know three contracts in one direction instead of one contract per strategy because they are highly correlated so it's not just like you're trading the same strategy with more contracts. Still, I hope that I piqued your interest into building more strategies using the same concept, but adding variations through some data mining package. In this case, we are using strategy Quant X. Of course, if you have any questions or any comments, please do so below the video and I'll be more than happy to answer it. And if you want to take this further, you know what to do. Join the Discord community where you can ask me anything directly and I will answer it. Of course, we already have more than 450 questions already answered in videos and catalog. Plus the three portfolios now that you can trade using their signals. They trade monthly and all their performance and uh, all their details are in the Discord server. As always, good luck with your trading. Good luck with your investing. Stay safe. And I'll see you soon.